Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So earlier this week, Microsoft rolled out their latest Patch Tuesday update for Windows 10, which is an automatic compulsory security update. And already now, Microsoft is testing their next February optional bug fix C release update, which is currently in its final stages of testing in the release preview channel, which is KB5022906. And because it's in its final stages of testing, we can expect that update to roll out to the general public, I would suggest, anywhere from the 21st next week towards the end of the month, which is common for Microsoft to push those optional updates out in the third or fourth week of every month. Now, um, if you do decide to install the update when it does roll out um, to the general public, it will push the build of Windows 10 version 22H2 to 19045.2670. So if we just head over to Winver quickly about Windows, the current OS build for Windows 10 version 22H2 is 19045.2604. So that'll be bumped up to 2670.2670 or somewhere in that vicinity. Now, just to make a quick mention of what we more or less can expect to see, um, over the next uh, a week or so and just to go through these uh, fixes as it is a bug fix update with one or two improvements. Now there are no new features according to Microsoft but they have fixed an issue that stopped hyperlinks from working in Microsoft Excel. They've also provided support for the United Mexican States' Daylight Saving Time change order for 2023. Uh, they fixed a resource conflict issue between two or more threads known as a deadlock. Uh, the deadlock was affecting COM plus applications. Um, they also fixed an issue that was affecting Internet Explorer mode. Um, apparently the text on the status bar was not always visible. And then if you are using OneDrive, there's a, a minor fix there where they improved how the remove item commandlet worked for Microsoft OneDrive folders. So that's a small improvement for OneDrive if you are using the OneDrive backup utility. And then just to mention the last three quickly, they fixed an issue that was affecting Microsoft Edge. Apparently the, uh, the issue removed conflicting policies for Microsoft Edge. So that has been resolved. And then they also um, fixed an issue that affected a certain streaming app. Now they are not saying what app, but apparently the issue stopped video playback after an advertisement played in the app. And they also fixed accessibility issues. They were affecting narrator on the settings home page. And that's more or less what we can expect to see uh, over the next couple of days with the next optional bug fix C release update rolling out for Windows 10 KB5022906, which is currently in its final stages of testing with insiders in the release preview channel. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.